hits this one hard to deep left center field. Wow. What a start for Larry Walker. Larry Walker did everything well on the baseball field. But the writers who decide who gets into the Hall of Fame have been slow to embrace the Canadians' impact on America's game. Former Canadian major leaguers think it's a no-brainer. You know, of course we're all biased and we want to see a Canadian get in, but, you know, I think the numbers bear it out. I, I, I think he deserves to be in there and I hope he will. Whether he's Canadian, American, Puerto Rican, wherever, He's a guy whose numbers stand up and, and his play stands up against anybody in baseball and, and in the history of baseball. Not quite as been as good with the gloves. Nobody's going to catch this. Walker's 21st of the year. Walker starred for the Montreal Expos and the Colorado Rockies. His achievements are impressive. Three batting titles, nine gold gloves, and the winner of the 1997 MVP award. And Walker with his fourth hit of the night. But the value of his statistics is controversial. His best years were played in the thin air of Colorado's Coors Field, where the ball traditionally travels farther. I played for a major league team that happens to be in Denver. If that's a problem, it's going to be an issue for them and get rid of the team and move it elsewhere. He also played during an era defined by steroids, something Walker has never been linked to. No needles went in my ass. I played the game clean. It's almost like Coors Field is my PED. Walker didn't play a lot of baseball growing up, but the Expos were attracted to his raw talent. He turned that talent into a 17-year major league career, always maintaining the quintessential Canadian humility. So many times you meet people you look up to, you know, your heroes or whatever you want to call them, and you can sometimes be let down, and never been let down by Larry. More importantly, he's shown a generation of Canadian baseball players that anything is possible, maybe even the Hall of Fame. Jamie Strachan, CBC News, Toronto.